Hey guys, I hope you're all doing super well. So if at any point during this video I start sounding like an old man or I start having like a coughing fit, it's because I'm sick. I've been dying for like three days, but today I woke up with like this ray of inspiration and energy on me and I was like, I need to film. So far this is my third video I'm filming today. Super proud of myself, but it's actually gonna be a haul. Long overdue. I feel like I haven't made a haul video on this channel in so long, maybe since like 2014. So I went shopping this weekend because I needed tops, but obviously I got many other things other than tops. I went to Zara, Brandy Melville, Cotton On, Urban Outfitters, American Apparel, and I did some damage. So today I have a spring try on haul for you guys. I'm excited for you to see it, so I'm gonna get started with Zara. So first thing I got is this super cute top. I forgot how you do this. How do you do hauls? <laughs> so this first shirt I got is just very normal looking from the front, like a gray t-shirt, but then in the back, it's open. It cuts off like halfway down your back and then it has these straps that you wrap around your waist, like around you, around your waist and then tie to the back. Super cute. It looks amazing with like high-waisted pants and I'm still in love with this shirt. Next up, I got another shirt also from Zara. I call this my Barbie shirt, okay? It's so, I don't think I own anything like this shockingly pink. It's like off the shoulder and it's elastic. I feel like this is gonna be super in for summer, like these scrunchy 90s vibes tops. So I'm excited to wear my Barbie top. Then last but not least from Zara, I got a bathing suit and I actually already washed this one. Haven't worn it, but I washed it because I wanted to try it on and I don't know about you guys, but I get super paranoid with like swimsuits and underwear and all that. Like I have to wash them before I actually like wear them with like no underwear on underneath. But this also feels like a Barbie swimsuit, I feel like. It's super retro, pink on top and then red at the bottom. It's a little bit high-waisted, um, but it's very different from any other swimsuit I've seen lately, so I had to get this. Next, I went to Brandy Melville and, wait, I feel like I'm missing something that I got at Brandy Melville. I hope not. First thing I got was this off-the-shoulder top. Again, super trendy for spring, I feel like. Um, it's just like a really soft cotton material off the shoulder and then it's long. These sleeves are really puffy, which I actually really like. I thought I wouldn't like it at first, but then once you put it on, it's super cute. Like you can scrunch it all the way up to your elbow and it looks really trendy. So I got that and then next up I got another top. Again, it's the scrunchy kind of trend that I feel like is going to be super popular soon. It has spaghetti straps. But you can tuck them in and wear it as a strapless too. This is super flattering once you put it on. I know it looks tiny, but it stretches a lot and it's really form-fitting. So I'm excited I got that. And then last from Brandy Melville, I got this skirt. I actually own this in another pattern. It's a little wraparound skirt. Is that what they're called? Because that's what I call them. Basically, you just wrap this around your waist and then it has, again, these straps that you tie around your body. And it's adjustable so it's great then from cotton on i only got one thing i got this bomber jacket it was on sale hold on let's close it up i've been looking for a cute like patterned bomber jacket for a while and this is only 15 dollars. i saw it and i was like yes 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 and it fits so well it has a kind of um like asian inspired print i want to say and it's actually super heavy so it falls really nicely and it's really flattering once you put it on next up from forever 21 i got two of these velvet tops now i'm really into like velvet material i know it's super in right now this one's white and it's just super flowy and off the shoulder and then I got another one. This one's kind of a champagne color, I want to call it. It's a little different. This one isn't like off the shoulder. It's just like a tank top. Again, super flowy and just falls really nicely on your body. Really excited for velvet. I love how it looks. It's like super luxe, even though it's like not expensive at all. Hello, like from Forever 21. And then last from Forever 21, I got these socks that I saw and I was like, I have never seen anything more me in my life, so I need these. Um, these say 98% angel and they're actually like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so from Urban Outfitters, I guess this isn't really clothing, but I wanted to show you guys. I got these coconut oil moisturizer perfume things. I think the brand is Manoi, like Manoi Tiki Tahiti. It's like a perfume oil is what they call it. It's basically just like coconut oil, but then it's scented with this um, Tahitian flower. It's a, it's a Tahitian gardenia. I'm like so out of breath all of a sudden. 
my lungs are working extra hard today but this scent is amazing i ended up getting two i got the original scent and then i got the vanilla flower scent i honestly don't even know how to like describe this scent it's like close to a gardenia but it's a little different it's not like a traditional like north american gardenia i guess it's very fruity so it's a really unique scent if you're into unique floral scents you need this in your life it smells so good at least like go to urban outfitters and smell it so you can get what i'm saying right now it's just so yummy okay moving on to the mess that is inside this american apparel bag if you guys haven't heard american apparel is closing like they're going out of business for good so all of these stores are having like amazing clearance sales right now. I got all of these things for 60% off, which is insane. If you guys have shopped at American Apparel before, you know it's expensive. So this is a really good deal. So I strongly recommend you go to your local American Apparel if it's still open and go shop. Anyways, I'm just going to start pulling things out. Okay, first up, I got a pair of their classic high-waisted jeans. These are a favorite everywhere and I actually never owned any of these before and i've been wanting them for a long time so I was like they're going out of business like now or never you have to get a pair so i just got the black um like the regular black jeans um they're very high-waisted and they make your butt look so good if you guys want pants that are gonna make your butt look amazing it's these they're high-waisted and they're super stretchy so they're like super flattering and really comfortable so i'm really excited about these i feel like i'm gonna end up loving those so much and then being like well I can't buy another pair because they're out of business, which is actually really sad. But next up, I got a dress. This is a navy blue dress. It has like a really wide V neck, like a V opening. It's very booby, but it's really flattering. It's like a little skater dress. It's long sleeved, and then I think the, the V cut is like the main attraction. Main attraction? That's a weird way of saying that. You guys know what I mean though, right? Like there's always one thing like in a dress that like calls your attention. In this, it's definitely the v-neck. Next up, I got this sweater and this sweater was actually so freaking cheap. Yeah, the Delphine tunic sweater. This was literally $6 and original price, it's like 60. Like that is insane. It's just like a really flowy knit sweater. It's a little see-through, which I think I like. Like you definitely have to wear something underneath. But it adds like a little funky vibe to it. Like I really like this sweater. Next up, I got this super simple mini skirt. It's just like a simple bodycon skirt, I guess you can call this. But I think the color is what really sold me on it. Like it's such a pretty color. And I feel like this is going to look super good with like just a normal t-shirt. You can dress it up for like nighttime. Super versatile. Then I got a pair of sweatpants because American Apparel quality is super good. Um, and I just wanted like a good pair of sweatpants because mine always end up being super shitty like when I buy them from like Cotton On or Forever 21 or something like that. So I wanted a good pair of um, sweatpants so I got these. They're just gray and then they are fitted at the bottom. Hopefully those will last a long time because my sweatpants never last. Then I got just a t-shirt, like a light baby blue t-shirt. This is kind of big is the fit so it's like a little floppy, a little off the shoulder. Um, I really like these kind of t-shirts. Next, I got another top, and this is, what do you call this? A wrap top is what you call it. Kind of like similar to the Brandy Melville skirt. Um, you wrap this around your body. It's really difficult to show right now, but the yellow is so pretty. I really like yellow. I feel like I never wear yellow, so I'm trying to like buy more yellow um, clothing items. So last but not least, from American Apparel, in terms of clothing items, I got this, again, another wrap skirt. But this one is this really pretty mustard yellow, one of my favorite colors um, to buy accessories and shoes in. This actually goes with a lot of different things, believe it or not. Like, it's a really in color, especially for spring and summer. It's such a nice color, but it transitions so well in fall, so you need this color in your life. So then I got a few accessories from American Apparel. I got these two um, bracelets. So this first one is just gold, and then it has like a kind of double wire thing going on. And then this other one is a little bit thicker. It's just a thick gold cuff. And I got two hair bows because these were super cheap. They were literally 50 cents each, like half of a dollar, 50 cents each. And I feel like bows are kind of throwback for me like I used to wear hair bows so much in like 2013 and they're super cute so I'm excited for these but that is everything in my American Apparel bag and that's it for my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys like hauls 
and want me to make more, make sure to let me know in the comments and let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below. If you're new to my channel and you just found me, hi, welcome, and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. But I love you guys bunches. Thank you so, so much for watching. I send a million kisses your way, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!